Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together. But first, what I suggest is that you pause the video and give it a shot on your own. Let's start by reading the problem. It says that figure 1 can be transformed to create figure 2. So that just means we're taking figure 1, right, and then it's being transformed. That means it's either being rotated or reflected or whatever, and we're getting figure 2. I think that what stands out to me is that figure 1 is changing its direction, and I feel like the y-axis is almost like a mirror. And if the y-axis is a mirror, we see that figure 1 and 2 are reflections of each other along the y-axis. So the answer here is um, C, which is reflection. And dilation refers to a change in size. So you would see figure 1, but it would be larger or smaller. That would change the size. A rotation would turn your shape. And if you want to get a sense of what rotation looks like, take a look at this. Um, so if we take a triangle and we rotate it, you can see that you would turn it around, right? You would essentially move it. I'll zoom out so you can see. So here, if I turn my shape, notice that essentially our point A is now on a different side, but also it's kind of upside down, the shape. And I kept going, it's upside down. So here we can tell it's not a rotation. How can we tell? Essentially, figure one, if you were to turn it to get to figure two, you get the same thing, but it would be kind of be upside down in a way. Like this shorter leg would be on the top, and a longer leg would be on the bottom. It would be upside down. Translation, kind of a scary word, right? But the SL reminds me that it's the same shape, but slided, slided? No, slid around. Uh, so translation is a sliding of a shape. That's not happening here, because the shape is changing direction. Uh, and just to get a sense of what a translation looks like, you take this triangle, if we translate it, we just slide it up and down, right? Nothing is changing in terms of orientation. A translation is just, taking a shape and sliding it around. So nothing's really backwards or upside down. All right, thanks.